While many of his friends are enjoying the start of summer vacation, Tuesday, we're going to do Accelerated Reader Day. Ralph Smith is still in school. He's a member of the first class of students at University Prep Science and Math High School in Detroit. And this charter school is operating year-round. I actually enjoy the year-round schedule. Sitting in the shadow of the Wren Center on Detroit's near east side, UPSM High School offers a challenging college prep curriculum. The goal is to graduate students with grades and test scores that will allow them to attend any university. So I want to make sure that you guys have everything that you need. The staff need knows research shows students lose about a month of learning over the summer, and lower income children tend to lose more ground than other students. As much as three months of progress in reading comprehension. The year-round schedule actually uh, facilitates a continuous flow of learning for the students opposed to the traditional school where there's a, about a 10-week break over the summer. And I see the difference and I like it. Ralph's mom isn't the only parent who supports year-round school. Kevin Binion is a former teacher himself. I think it is a good way to keep the kids focused, uh, keep them motivated, uh, helps their attention. So I really think that it's good for the kids. These students will basically attend school for three months, then have about a month off in December, April, and August. The number of instructional days in a year-round school are actually almost equal to those in a traditional school. Supporters say year-round school will better prepare our kids to compete globally. Many other nations provide students with more classroom days spread over the entire year. And U.S. students now rank 25th in reading, math, and science tests among 34 nations studied. China was number one, and Chinese students attend school about 210 days a year, compared to 180 days here. In the fall, the second class of freshmen will enter UPSM and attend school year-round. Traditionally, she's gotten very bored by the end of summer, and misses her friends, and actually misses her teachers. So we think this is going to be a good thing for her. June and July classes allow for lessons on things like urban gardening, and there are warm weather field trips. But as most other kids settle into their summer vacation, current UPSM students are beginning to see the pros and cons of their school calendar. It's like a bittersweet situation. I'm jealous that my friends have the summer off. and Well, we have the summer off, but I'm jealous that they have July and June off. They can stay up late, they can sleep in, but on the other hand, I have to get up early. And it's a good situation because it preps me for the future. We don't always get a summer break in life. The four to five week break students do get will not be academic free. They're assigned plenty of homework to keep them busy. It would be nice to just, you know, relax, but we have that homework that needs to be done. I, I do see the advantages with it, but, you know, it, it would be nice to just chill for a minute. 